You guys weathered that early storm for the Warriors to start, and it was back and forth until about three and a half minutes to go in the first half. They were able to create some separation. What kind of change does they carry that momentum to the second? I wish I knew, honestly. Um, would love to check the film, kind of get a better view on it before I just say something. Um, so, I mean, I mean, they protect their home court. Give them, give them their um, credit for that. Throughout the course of the series, obviously, you guys are five games in. What's the key to kind of winning the little battles throughout the course of a game to ultimately make that difference? Uh, just being focused. Uh, I think as a group, just being focused. Um, um, can't have one guy not locked in or two. It kind of like a trickle-down effect. So you try to come with that, that aggression as, as a unit, you know, offensively and defensively. I think it'll take care of the small things. D'Angelo, you guys were in a very similar situation last series, different series. But winning in, in six games, what do you take out of that that needs to be applied Friday night? One game at a time, honestly. Um, try to lose yourself in the focus. Um, try not to really get caught up in all the other stuff going into it. You know, just get, get just lose yourself in the focus and you look up and we'll get that one game that we need. It was still a, I think a nine point game when you hit a shot late and then um, AD gets hit in the, in the head. Did that take some emotional um, out of this team, some emotion out of this team? Oh, I mean, I mean, they came down and was playing five on four, so I was just trying to figure out a way to get a stop and deal with, you know, what was going on after that. I'm sure you guys believe if AD can't play Friday night that you can still win. If he can't play Friday night, how do you make that win without him? Oh, we won't know until we know, uh, you know, what, what what's for sure and what's not. Obviously, you know how important it is to take care of the basketball, especially in this series so tonight. What what was the difference there? Just killed us. Turnovers. They scored. It came down and got threes out of it. Um, you know, it's different if they're coming down and they're getting twos, but they were getting threes. So, obviously, that's a big point of emphasis that won't you know allow us to to get a win. For sure, can't get a win against these guys like that. So. Hey, Darvin, what do you know about Anthony Davis at this point? Uh, yeah, obviously everyone saw he took a shot to the head, but he got just checked in on him. He's doing, seems to be doing really good already. So um, that's just where it's at. That's the status of it right now. Do you know any next steps in terms of him talking to Doc? We just got done with the game, Mike. Darvin, so setting AD aside then, what did you think the difference was uh, as starting in that kind of the end of the second quarter, Golden State extends the lead and then uh, start of the third, they push it further? I mean, obviously, you know, they're a prideful group, you know, salute to them, taking care of business on their own floor. Um, that's just how the playoffs go. Um, they came out, you know, they had the crowd behind them. They was able to see some shots go in early, uh, really got it going early from the three-point line. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we just got to come out ready to do the same on our home floor. I mean, we, we defended better in the second half. You know, they had 11 threes at halftime, ended up with 13 for the game. Um, I just thought early on we had too many turnovers, gave them some gimmies, some offensive rebounds that turned into points for them. Turnovers turned into points for them. Uh, just got to do a better job of taking care of the ball and then, again, continue to get hits on offense in terms of setting screens and playing downhill and uh, being ready to make a quick decision on catch. Darvin, you guys shot only 15 free throws tonight. Um, why do you think that was? Was that an aggression, aggression factor for you guys, or was there other things that you saw? I mean, we played the same way we always play. I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what's a foul anymore. The, um, the narrative over the past 48 hours out of Golden State was that you guys embellish and flop. Do you think that impacted at all the way this game was officiated? Tonight? No, we play a physical brand of basketball. We don't teach flopping. We don't teach head snaps. I mean, you see Brian, he's got a thousand scratches on his arm. Same with AD, same with Austin Reeves, same with Lonnie Walker. I don't know, you know, it's unfortunate that it comes to that, but we, 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 don't, we hadn't done it all year. We're not, we're damn sure not going to start now, you know, looking for a third party to dive in and help us. Um, we're just going to coach our team. We're just going to play the way we play. 
that physical, forceful brand of basketball and just let the chips fall where they may. Darwin, I know the game just ended, but how do you, what's key in this next 24, 48 hours to hit reset so you can get back in the home court and, and do what you've done eight straight home games? The recovery game. You know, we'll go back, dissect the film, see, you know, areas where we can get better and um, go from there. But the biggest thing for us is recovery. Um, you know, getting ourselves packed up, getting on a plane, getting back to LA uh, and, and, and start to fill our cup up for Friday night. Draymond, Draymond scored 20 tonight, which he almost never does. Um, Is there something going on with the mic? I can't hear it. I barely can hear anyone. Yeah, questions. the mics have been kind of weird. Draymond scored 20 tonight. He almost never scores 20. How, what how, What did you see? Why did you think he was able to kind of get loose offensively? He came out aggressive. And, uh, you know, there's going to be opportunities for him the way we've been defending him. And tonight he made shots. Yeah, Austin, uh, Darvin, Darvin said there wasn't that much to report about AD at this point, uh, but he said when he went in there, he seemed like he was doing better so far. Just what's your level of concern for a teammate kind of taking a blow like that? Uh, I mean, obviously, you never want to see a teammate get hit, uh, but like Darv said, uh, seen him in the locker room, and he's, he's doing better. Obviously, he's key to everything that you guys do. Uh, the, this game and then kind of leading into the next game, uh, what are the things that you as a team have to have to try to do now that you're going back for game six? Uh, We'll go back and watch film. Uh, you know, obviously they're the, the defending champs for a reason. Uh, and they come out and I think start of the first quarter, the third quarter, they just played harder than us. Uh, and that was the main thing. But like I said, we'll, we'll go watch film tomorrow and uh, get better and, you know, lock in for game six. Austin, uh, what have you guys learned throughout these playoffs so far about processing a loss and then coming in fresh for the next game? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like every other loss you never want to have two in a row. Uh, like I said, they're the defending champs for a reason. Obviously, a really good team. They're never going to just fold and give you what you want. Um, but uh, there's a lot of things that we can do better. And like I said, we'll go, we'll go watch film and, and figure those things out. And then, you know, at the, at the least, we're, we're going to come out with a lot more firepower, a lot more energy than, than what we have. Austin, um, in the first quarter of game four, and then it seemed like most of this until AD got the shot to the head, they were able to kind of pull him away from the rim and keep him more on the perimeter. Is there, how were they able to do that, and, and how can you guys kind of counter that? Uh, this, like I've said a couple of times, it's a chess piece at this point. Like, it's a chess, chess match. Uh, you know, they got a really good coach. You know, we got a really good coach for going, you know, they're going back and forth with skiing. Anytime we can have AD, you know, in the back line of defense, uh, he's a lot better for us than, than him being on the perimeter just because he can alter so many shots. Um, but the fix for that, uh, I don't know yet. Uh, but I'm sure the coaching staff, everybody uh, on the team is, you know, looking for ways for us to be better. Austin, uh, Darvin said he, he felt like you guys played as, as physically as you normally do. You just didn't. Yeah, uh, that's that's not for me to say. Um, everybody's human. Uh, you know, you can come in here and say the officiating, you know, this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, like we're we're players. You know, we're expected to make shots, but we miss shots. Uh, they're expected to get every call right, but that's not the nature of life. You know, nobody's perfect. Um, so you can't even sit up here and, you know, blame them for anything. But, um, yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Austin, is there anything from game six from the series against Memphis that can help you guys in this game six coming up? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this series is basically the same as uh, 
you know, the last Memphis series as far as like game by game, uh, win by win, loss by loss. Uh, so, you know, you can look back at that and look and see the, the energy and the effort that we um, come out with in game six from the get-go. Uh, even even the third quarter, uh, the intensity, the attention to detail, um, and all those little things that, you know, will, you know, uh, hopefully help us win this series. Austin, I'm sure you guys believe, even if AD can't play Friday night, that you can win that game. If by chance he cannot play, how do you win that game without him? Uh, I, I mean, that's a, dude, score more points than another team. Uh, you know, obviously, AD is huge to what we do, and you know, uh, I believe he'll play. Um, but you know, if that's not the case, um, we're still you know a, a group of NBA basketball players that you know have have played games without him this year. Um, like I said, I, you never want to play you know a game, a big game, without a guy like that. But uh, that's the nature of the game. Um, but uh, that's really it. Score more points. Thanks, Al. Hey, LeBron, just want to ask you about AD first, just your uh, level of concern with him after he took that shot. Um, I didn't see the shot. Um, I just seen the aftermath, but, you know, um, the medical team seems to say he's, been, he's doing better, so, you know, that's what matters the most. How much of a part of that is do you, you figure now as you get back for game six, a situation you've been in before, uh, maybe a little bit of uncertainty about AD, but how do you approach this as a leader uh, going back in the plane? Um, we have another opportunity. Um, obviously, they you know, played exceptionally well here tonight. And, um, you know, we had some, some good moments, but, you know, not as close to 48 minutes as we needed to be. But you know, we had another opportunity on Friday. And we look forward to the, to the matchup again. LeBron was a tied game with about four minutes to go in the second quarter. And then we know this is a team that can go on runs. But was there anything, when you think back to late second quarter, early third, that you felt like on your end contributed, not your team's end that contributed to that run? Uh, I mean, we, we kind of made a run. We had an opportunity to, um, you know, I missed an uh, easy jump hook in the lane to kind of cut the lead to three. Um, 80 right after that, um, I missed a jump hook. He had an opportunity to have a tip dunk, missed it. Uh, we blew a coverage. Clay hit a three on their right wing, uh, put him up eight. Um, and then we came back down, missed again, and then Steph hit the big one at the end of the quarter. So um, we know that they're um, a team of runs, and you know you got to be able to match that. And they just kept it going in the third, obviously. LeBron, I have two for you. Um, the conversation in the last 48 hours has been, from the Warriors' standpoint, has been gamesmanship on your team and flopping. Do you feel like that affected anything in terms of the way the game was dealt with tonight on the court? Um, I just know that we, uh, uh, you know, our coaching staff and us players, we don't we don't work on flopping. We don't. That's not even a part of our game. Our our game is to attack, attack the paint. Um, we don't mind physical contact. We actually like the contact, um, and we don't shy away from it. So um, we're just not a, a, a team that um, you know goes out there and looking for 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 you know for flopping opportunities. It's just not us. It's never been. It's actually never been in any team that I've played on in my 20 years where we've been a flopping team, um, you know, but it is what it is. They have the right to say what they want to say or, you know, uh, but the game is always one between the four lines and, you know, we better, uh, we got to be better on Friday uh, for sure. Earlier today, you were named to the All-NBA third team. I think this is 19 straight years for you. Um, knowing what you've done and dealt with physically and stuff like that. How does this one hit differently in year 20? Um, I, just, I guess I, you don't even take those moments for granted when you get an opportunity to be recognized as one of the best players still in the league um, and have one of the best seasons, um, you know, and make an all-NBA team. Um, you know, I don't take my, you know, anything that I've been able to accomplish for, for granted, and I've always appreciative for the um, to be a part of any selection. Um, you know, in this league, so many great players, so many great teams, and uh, a lot of guys. A lot of guys this year had, you know, some some really good seasons, great seasons, and uh, to be a part of that that uh, that, that class of 15 guys. Um, when I seen the list, it's it still pretty cool. You know, even at my age and where I'm at right now, in year 20, 
um, you know, don't, don't just don't take it for granted. Um, you know, obviously I got bigger fish to fry, but you know, in those small moments, those small wins right there um, is all part of the. I guess it's all part of the journey, all part of the legacy. You know, as far as what I do on the floor, you know, in this league, so, so that's pretty cool. Kirk. LeBron, in uh, two, there you go. Thank you. Um, in your career, you have played in plenty of game sixes where you have a chance to clinch. You also just had that last series. Is there something that you think this team this year needs to focus on Friday in comparison to the past? Um, no, I mean, every, you know, every moment is his own challenge and is his own game and is his own, uh, you know, um, opportunity to see what you're made of. And we can't base last series onto this series. This series is different. Uh, the opponent is different. The challenges is different. So, um, you know, Friday it was is an opportunity for us to to see where we are, to see what we're made of, um, and, and, and to go out there with the um, I guess the grit and the fight that we've had since we came together after the All Star break. Very resilient team, and we respond well to adversity, and uh, uh, we look we look forward to that. Um, you know, to get an opportunity to play again on Friday. LeBron, you guys are 6-0 and between the playing round, first round through the Warriors series at Crypto.com this postseason. I want to know if you have any message for Laker fans planning to come to the game on Friday. Um, well, we didn't handle our business tonight, so, you know, I look forward to seeing our fans, you know, for another game in the second round. Um, but, you know, those six games are out the window. It's over and done with, so, you know, our job is to you know, try to be one and all on Friday, you know, and, uh, you know, I look forward, you know, to that opportunity. Last question, Yovan. LeBron, uh, last game six you guys played, you, you said you guys approached it like game seven mentality, didn't want to go back to Memphis for game seven. Is that, I assume, the same uh, approach going to this one? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Appreciate it. Yeah.